Hey y'all, Shane Curlin here from Personal Survival Solutions and uh, we're just continuing on with the series of basic rifle marksmanship and getting into that next position. So, you know, we originally started out in a prone position that would be the most solid, stable, and dur durable position and now we're working our way up. So we're training here at the Homestead Range again with the Unit Solutions, Unit 4. Want to give a shout out to LSDS and Unit Solutions for, for letting us borrow this to do these training videos. And also, uh, it's a great training tool. I mean, we've got live fire here at the homestead if we want to, uh, but I can train with this anywhere because it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of noise. I can capture uh, the projectile that it's shooting, and uh, I can do it kind of kind of anywhere within my house or, or outside of my backyard. So uh, it's, a, it's a great training tool. So, so moving on to the kneeling position, I'm going to talk about three different ways to do it here. We're going to talk about the traditional kneeling position, okay, or like NRA style knee. We're going to talk about the speed knee and it's used to get stability and also to do a positional shift to maybe maximize cover or uh, just, just get a reduced silhouette of myself because there's no cover available. And then the last one is uh, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do the reverse brace knee because I might have a barricade or something uh, that I could use a lot, utilize for stability and how do we maximize that while applying the fundamentals of marksmanship. Now, no matter what position that I'm in, the, the fundamentals of marksmanship don't change. So if you remember back to the first video that we did, uh, remember and apply all those fundamentals of marksmanship uh, that we talked about at the beginning. Okay, so I've got uh, target down range here. We got the unit four loaded up, and uh, we'll talk about getting into position and then also sling usage for stability. And it'll be very similar uh, to the previous videos that I did talking about sling usage and positions. So when I go to set up, since I'm a right handed person, okay, I'm gonna come down on, on my right knee. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my sling as I go into position, how much tension that I actually need if I have that ability. I'm going to bring the buttstock into the shoulder or more center line towards my collarbone and again elevate it up with my elbow because I want to get that corkscrew in to lock it in uh, as I get down into position. I'm going to be angled off just a little bit as I come and set down and we can either have be up on our toes so we don't reduce mobility or dependent on your flexibility mobility back on uh, a flat foot and on your heel. It's really uh, up to you and what uh, your abilities are. Okay. As I come into this position, where I put my arm depends on arm length and, and just size of me overall. So I can have my tricep in front of my knee. Okay? Some people with shorter arms or a lot of flexibility might be behind the knee. We never want to go bone to bone, so elbow to kneecap, because uh, I'm going to get that pivot point there where it's going to move around. Okay? Uh, or some people will come on the inside of their knee provide muscular tension with the arm and the leg to get that stability. Okay. As I get to here, okay, I'm going to corkscrew and lock this in. Now I've got my sling tight enough, so I'm going to use my thumb on my support hand, and then I'm going to flatten that hand out into that true platform, pulling stability in at another touch point with the sling. Okay. If I want to check my natural point of aim, that's when I would do it and I would shift my whole body if I need to either move left or right. I would move my feet and my knees. Once I'm here, okay, I got sight picture, sight alignment. Okay, once we get to this point, unless I'm shooting in a controlled environment precisely, uh, as far as breathing goes, we can go to that natural respiratory pause, but all I really care about is through this process is you're actually breathing because we tend to hold our breath uh, as we get adrenalized and we get excited. So natural respiratory pause, safety comes off. I roll my finger into the trigger and I'm gonna press it straight to the rear. Okay, goes through cycle function, cycle recall. I've taken the slack back out. Natural respiratory pause, I verify my front sight. Okay, straight to the rear. So on and so forth, etc. through however many I'm gonna shoot or train with on that. So that's my more traditional or uh, NRA style knee, okay? I might want to do a speed knee, depending on the circumstances of the situation I'm in, okay? Where I want to reduce uh, my, my height level, okay? So making myself a smaller target, or maybe I've got a piece of cover that's out in front of me, and I want to maximize usage of that cover while trying to get uh, as much stability as I possibly can. Again, we can utilize the sling and tighten it down as I go to get into position, but I'm not contorting myself down and getting a bunch of bone structure because I get in, in and out of this position relatively quickly because I'm probably gonna be moving. 
So when I recognize that knee, then I'm gonna go into that speed knee. And again, it doesn't really matter which knee we go down to for this particular technique. Uh, because I'm a right-handed shooter, I'm gonna go down onto my right knee. Okay, I'm gonna tighten up that sling. As I drop down, now I'm maximizing the use of that sling and I've got another point of contact, okay? And I'm gonna take that support hand and my three amigos on my firing hand and I'm gonna stretch the gun like I'm trying to tear it in half for a nanosecond to settle down my front sight in an acceptable target area, giving me enough time to be able to break the shot. Okay, so I'm here, I'm gonna stretch the gun, apply my fundamentals, okay? I'm reset, I relax, I stretch the gun, apply those fundamentals, relax, stretch the gun, apply those fundamentals, and so on and so forth. And then when I wanna get up and move, depending on what the situation does, my support hand can come to my knee and I can push myself off so I have a mobile position, okay? The third one is gonna be if I have something that I can do a reverse brace knee on, okay? Now I'm gonna switch where my knees are, okay? And I just happen to have this handy dandy ghetto two by four <laughs> Uh, bra brace here, okay? I'm gonna keep my right knee up, okay? So my strong side knee up. I'm gonna drop it and I'm gonna utilize this piece of cover, barricade, whatever the case may be. Now we have to make an on-the-spot decision at the time uh, that I have a clear area on the other side if I can't see, uh, or if I can see, because I don't wanna have this turn into a fight with this rifle. So a lot of times if I have distance and I wanna add stability, I'll do this, okay? My hand is gonna be turned over on my support hand so I can lock this in, the hand guard into whatever I'm holding onto. Now we're gonna have to change this depending on the structure that we're trying to, trying to lock into. If I'm on the side, I might pull it in with my fingers. You just gotta kinda play with this a little bit. But I'm gonna use this knee for added stability. Corkscrewing the gun in, I'm getting my elbow on the inside this time just because of the height of the barricade. But now I can get that muscular tension where I pull in uh, with the contraction of my, the muscles in my thigh to get a solid, stable, and durable position. I can reach up, tighten my sling, lock that in, and apply those fundamentals just like we've talked about previously. That's in my work through my sights. That's in my work through my sights. That's in my work through my sights and so on and so forth. Okay. So those are the three different kneeling positions and applying the fundamentals of marksmanship with them. Okay. Uh, in the next video in the series, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about standing offhand and standing offhand with sling usage to add stability. So we'll be at the, the least stable of all the different positions that are out there. Okay. But we wanna try and maximize it, that stability as much as we can. So that's uh, the next video that we're gonna have. Until we see you then, uh, always vigilant, always prepared, and we'll see you on the range.